I mean, the state of Kansas has suspended its school year entirely, and UCLA is doing its graduation virtually. And I guarantee those aren't the only two places that are going to be doing this. You know, I'm never usually right about these things, but this is one of those cases where I am right, but I didn't want to be right. The freaking pandemic has ruined my eighth grade year. And I know there are going to be some seniors right now saying, oh yeah, well we lost our prom, our high school graduation. Um, yes, I will admit, we eighth graders don't have it nearly as worse off as you seniors. However, this isn't a competition. We're all going through a lot right now and we need to support each other rather than just putting each other down saying, oh yeah, well I haven't won. Because you know who has it worse than you seniors? The 38,000 people at the time I'm writing this in the United States alone who have lost their lives to this pandemic and the millions of people who have lost their jobs. But in all seriousness, I'm sad the school is canceled. Not because of the actual learning. No one cares about that at this point. It's more disappointing how all of our cool stuff was canceled with it. Like our trips to Springfield and Dubuque, our dinner dance, graduation itself, confirmation, a Catholic thing. And now they're all gone. And what do we get as compensation? Nothing! Also, I took their Chromebook call for online school, thinking my charger for my personal Chromebook would work on it, but it didn't, and it died hours later. And that charger is still back at school. So now I just have a dead Chromebook sitting in my room, doing literally nothing since mid-March. Whoops. Anyways, since the school year is basically over, or at least the interesting part, because ever since we stopped doing Zoom meetings, online school has been pretty boring. Update. No, it hasn't. Yeah, uh, Brady from the future here. The day I'm writing this part of the script, we got a math assignment where we had to look at our already graded math assignments and fill them out on the chart. So, the assignment name, what your score was, etc. And one of the people in my math class comments on the post, Why are you making us do your job for an assignment? Our math teacher then threatened to talk to his parents and then deleted his comments. Well done, soldier. All right, now back to the normal video. So the rest of this video is going to be random stories that happened throughout eighth grade to remember this wonder, this great, this, uh, this school year. One infamous incident that happened was during social studies. Our social studies teacher had assigned us a group project where we would teach a chapter from the book using whatever method we wanted. Everyone, except one group, however, made a slideshow. And the one group that did make a video was amazing. Anyways, our group does our slideshow and then the bell rings. I close out the window and get ready to leave when my social studies teacher says, why'd you change my background? What? My background before was the default blue background. Now it's gray. Why'd you change it? I didn't. We've been presenting this whole time. Well, you're the only one that's been operating it. I mean, that's true, but forget it, forget it. I'll try to fix it. You go to study hall. Then, like three minutes later, one of the kids from the other class calls me to go back to her room. I go there and she says, I couldn't change the background. You're going to have to do it. But I literally don't know how to change it. Well, you've got to figure it out. You were the one using the computer. Her class then began laughing, and then she had to yell at them about respect and stuff, and I just sat there already dead on the inside. And once she finishes, I try to figure out how to change the background, and it just changes back to normal. Then I figured, well, I've been embarrassed enough today. At least now it's over. Then, two minutes later, another student comes back to my homeroom laughing, saying, Miss Social Studies teacher wants you to come back again. Yay. So I went back there and she says, the wallpaper changed again. Okay, I'll go fix it. So I go back on the computer and it changes again. She then goes, all right, quick, leave before it changes back again. So then I go to leave and it changes again. The rest of the class began yelling at me and I wasn't thinking straight. It changes a couple seconds later and I run up this time back to the home room. I then get called back again. I hate my what? So I go back to the door, but at this point I had gotten so embarrassed I could not see myself to go in there again. And I explain it to my social studies teacher and she feels bad and she explains to me that it was just a prank. Freaking what? So, as it turns out, the reason the background changed originally is because she had an option on her default backgrounds to have it change every like 10 minutes or so, and she just never used that computer enough to notice it. And so when she did notice, she thought it'd be funny to change it to every 15 seconds or so so she could do the la funny prank. I'm gonna be honest, I probably should've connected to this a lot quicker, but I actually began thinking I broke a computer. 
somehow. Yeah, looking back, this is probably the dumbest moment of this entire school year for me. In the end, though, I got treated a lot better from said teacher than before, so it all worked out. Another incident that happened revolves around tests. You see, we've been learning the periodic table in science class, and so we watched this movie called Hunting the Elements. And we would take notes on the movie so we could take a quiz once we finished it. I took about two pages front and back of notes, while some people I know took over four pages of notes front and back. Everyone thought that the test would be easy. I mean, she called it a quiz, not a test. And it was open note. What could possibly go wrong? Well, turns out, if you wanted to pass a test, you basically needed to take notes every five seconds because most of the questions were taken word for word from the movie at random parts and there were 40 of them. Yeah, that's that's what she calls a quiz. One of the questions literally had like this orange bowl shown here, but there is no picture and it was quite obvious it was taken right from the script. So next to it I wrote, what bowl? That test was bad. Most of us couldn't even finish it in science class and had to go into the science room during lunch to do so. Some people even went to the principal to complain about it. So, once all was said and done with, during science class one day, she decides to try and prove a point or something, to read off all the funny answers people wrote on their tests. And, I gotta admit, there were some funny ones. Like my personal favorite being, what is an atom made of? Chocolate chips. And I smirked during one of the answers, and I got yelled at. I'm sorry, but you said yourself that these answers were funny, and now I get yelled at for smirking? That's like going to a comedy club and then getting kicked out for laughing at one of the jokes. For those of you wondering, I got a C on the quiz, and that's only due to the extra credit points she gave to us for simply having notes. That definitely put science class way down on my personal favorite class list. However, the best class this year by far was art class. And the reason art class is so fun is that our art teacher lets us use our phones in class. And all in all, art class was the chillest class. And I think everyone in my school could agree about that. This led to people doing things like taking pictures of her and then cropping her head to make it 10 times bigger. Or the time someone just splatted someone with paint. Or the time someone took off their shirt. What? You actually thought I was gonna draw that? You sick freak. This school year has also been the year of people constantly reminding us, you're the top grade in school right now. You set an example for the younger kids. And so rules are gonna be much more strict on you and blah, 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 shut up and let me do my math work. One particular incident involved our principal changing rule about putting stuff on the outside of our locker. We were now no longer allowed to have anything on the outside of our locker. No pictures, drawings, emergency contact numbers, pictures of rappers, and one particular female student did not appreciate this new rule at all. And so she writes in marker all over the front of her locker this long paragraph about how we should be able to express ourselves and we should be allowed to at least have two things in our locker and this rule is big bad. Unsurprisingly, the teachers were not pleased. They basically after told us how you're not allowed to complain about the rules because we have to follow them whether we like it or not. And that was just their like, but if we don't get to complain about the rules, then a bad rule will never get changed. This is a democracy after all. But you know what place doesn't allow you to complain about the rules and will get you in trouble for doing so? China, that's right. School is China confirmed, not clickbait. But in all seriousness, it sucks how we had our last day of eighth grade without even realizing it. We had so much planned this and next month and now it's all ruined because some dude had to eat a bat. I'm done. And students in Illinois will finish out the school year at home. Governor Pritzker ordered schools to close for the rest of the semester. It extends his most recent...